Scorpio, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for September the 3rd to September the 9th. And as I always say, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. And once again, I'm sorry these are a bit late. Um, I'm going to do this as quickly as I can for you and get this out for you. Um, yes, the first card you have um, for your past is the Four of Swords. Um, Yes, I'm getting this feeling of um, a distance, a distance between you and someone else. Not a physical distance, but a kind of an emotional distance. You're feeling that um, someone, this is just a feeling you are having. I'm seeing this person might not have actually said anything to you. It's more like um, just a feeling. It's, it's quite subtle, actually. This was quite subtle. You could have been feeling that this person was just a little bit off with you, a little bit funny with you. You didn't quite know why that was. And I'm seeing that, you know, after a while they did tell you kind of a little bit about what it was, but you didn't really get to the bottom of, you know, you didn't get to a lot of detail about what it was. Now, maybe this person told you, oh, it's about this or whatever, but they didn't really uh, tell you enough to make you kind of understand the depth of how they were feeling and why they were actually being so distant to you. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so this was some kind of a, a friend or a relationship, I'm seeing this is probably a relationship and um, or a love situation or something like that. This person was going through a lot of mental stress and I'm seeing that this is probably coming from um, probably coming from a family situation. I am seeing um, some something about their family, some kind of turmoil around their family. Um, if you're still feeling this kind of distance between yourself and this person, um, this is probably what it's about. They're probably going through a very difficult family situation, and. Um, I'm not seeing this is a, this is about you. I don't see that they're distancing themselves from you um, because there's anything you've done or that they don't like you. I just think that they're going through a lot and they're not able to express that um, to you. That was what I'm seeing um, in that. Yes, don't take it personally. Try not to take this personally. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your past is the moon. So yes, this person... Um, this uh, love connection I'm seeing, this person who uh, you're feeling very distant from, um, they were going through a lot of mixed feelings, a lot of very, very difficult, difficult feelings. They have a very, or they had, or they still have a very difficult relationship with um, a parent. I'm definitely seeing one parent. I'm seeing a sibling as well. And it might even be a difficulty between um, them, both parents, and even a sibling as well. So it could be a lot of different people in their family. Um, uh, the lobster, if you look at the lobster in this car, there's a lobster and um, it's trying to come out of the water. It's trying to come out of its deep emotions. But then this lobster is going to have to go past this wolf and this dog barking away, probably quite angry, to go up the path to get out of that. And they're quite vicious looking, quite scary actually. So this person could have been in the middle of um, two people, two opposing forces in their family, barking at each side, you know, kind of having an argument something could be wrong, there's some problem, and um, they had to try it. They were kind of in the middle of this, but they had to try and work through this to get to the other side, if that makes sense. So yes, this person, I, I keep on seeing, they have a very, very good, difficult time around their family, um, and they have a very difficult past with all of these people in their family. Um, you will eventually find out um, a bit more of what's been happening eventually, but at this time, they really only had um, the mental energy to really deal with this. It was a huge mental drain on them, and they had to just really uh, put all of their energies into this. That's what I'm seeing. They couldn't deal with anything else. Um, the last card you have your past is the Fool. Um, so yes, I'm seeing two things here. I'm seeing that you really wanted to help this person. You really wanted to be there for them. You really wanted to um, support them in what they were going through. You didn't know everything of what they were going through. You knew a little bit of what they were going through. They probably told you a little bit, but not everything. So you probably didn't know how serious this actually really was. You just knew a bit of it. So part of you, 
I think they were kind of telling you or either or either you found out that there was nothing you really could actually practically do for them apart from saying to them that you were there to support them. So you might have just thought to yourself, well, I have a lot of other things I'd like to pursue. I've got this project, I've got other things. I'm going to try and concentrate my energies on that. I'm still there for you, but I'm going to go and do my other things because there's no point in stressing and doing all these things if I can't actually do anything. So part of you was thinking like that in the way of the fool. And another part of your heart was actually like this little white dog trying to pull this fool back and stop it from going ahead. So, part, so you're in two minds at this time. You're kind of saying, OK, I can't do anything. I'm going to pursue my own things. And then you were saying, well, no, I need to be there for this person. So you're a bit backwards and forwards like this at this time. Um, yes, you're just very, very backwards and forwards. You weren't able to kind of be Yes, they weren't opening up to you, I'm seeing. They weren't um, telling you everything. They were telling you some things. I'm seeing that you did try to get them open up to open up, but then you realised they just weren't going to. They are quite upset. They weren't ready to do that. And yes, you wanted to be there for, for them and you wanted to um, pursue your own things as well to kind of take your mind off things. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm jumbling this all up. This is just what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this kind of really... Um, this really contrast, this really contradiction in this card, it's really going backwards and forwards. And I'm also sensing there's so much kind of um, sadness, so much stress around this. It's very difficult. And you're feeling that stress as well. You were feeling a lot of stress for them, but you were frustrated because you couldn't actually do anything for them. I'm getting that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm coughing. Uh, the first card you have your present is the Nine of Pentacles. So yes, you did decide to just do what you could for yourself. You did want to kind of put your energies into this thing anyway that you were doing for yourself. This was something you wanted to achieve. Um, this is the Nine of Pentacles. So this is probably some kind of um, money-making project that you'd already started and you wanted to keep going on with uh, or something like that. You did have a lot of work to do. <clears throat> you, could, you had a lot of work to do on this and... Um, Yes, you enjoy doing this as well, but part of you might have felt a little bit guilty about enjoying this because you were so worried about this person. So you were kind of, again, you wanted to enjoy this, you wanted to do this, you wanted to pursue this because you knew that this is something that you really wanted for yourself, but you still had your mind with this person. You were still thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't be enjoying this, maybe I shouldn't be thinking so much about this because I do really care about this other person. But you still did do some of this. You were kind of doing this and um, I'm seeing that things were moving quite slowly with this, uh, a bit slower than you'd like them to move with this. There's a snail at the bottom of this card um, and the snail's going along and um, it's obviously it's very slow, it's a snail, but it's also determined. So you are going to be determined to get to the end of this. Um, even though it's taking time and even though your emotions are kind of leading you back to this person. So you can't really concentrate on this 100%. But you are still determined. You know that you're going to eventually finish this. You want to finish this no matter what happens. I'm also seeing there could be some other people around you. They might be saying a few things about this. They might be kind of querying whether you're going to be able to finish this. And Another thing about a snail is he has a shell around him. So you have this shell around you. You're not really going to kind of be worried about what anyone's saying about this. And um, you're just in your shell, doing your thing, minding your own business, getting this done. Um, but your emotions are still with this person I'm seeing at this time. Um, but you are going to finish this. It is going to take a long time, but you are going to finish this. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have your present is the Hanged Man. So yes, I am seeing some delays in this thing that you're working on. Um, there's still going to be growth in this, uh, with this tree that this man's hanging on. There are these nice fresh leaves on this tree. So there is going to be some growth in this project. You are going to move forward and get something done, but it is going to have delays. It is going to be quite slow. Some of these delays are kind of things you can't do anything about. They're just things outwardly that calm and slow things down. Some of the delays 
are coming from you because you are really, really stressed about this person uh, in the Four of Swords. You love them, you care about them, you're worried about them. Your mind is still on them, so you can't really fully concentrate on getting any kind of work done you need to do. You are getting it done. You're kind of on an autopilot getting this all done. You want to do this, you like doing this, you know you're going to get to the end of it but you still have your mind on this person, on their problems, on them wanting to be there for them. That's what I'm seeing. And yes, you will finish this again. I'm seeing, if you look at this hanged man, um, his legs are making um, the shape of a number four. Now the number four can represent um, completion, coming in full circle. So yes, if this resonates and you're feeling stressed about finish th finishing this, don't stress about that. Um, just keep going. You are going to definitely finish this. You are definitely going to finish this. So that's another stress you don't need. You already have stress and worry about this person that you love and you, do, you don't need stress about whether you're going to finish this or not. You are going to finish this. It's going to take longer, but you are going to finish this. The last card you have um, for your present is um, the Seven of Wands. So yes, I am seeing why you are working on this. Your heart is in it, but your mind and your heart are also with this person. I'm seeing that again. I am seeing you are quite, you are trying to do the best you can um, with what you have. You are also getting some questions about this. You've got um, some people coming in and asking you lots of questions about it at this time. Um, there are some people who are genuinely interested in what you're doing. They care about you, they care about what you're doing, and they are just interested. They're asking questions. They want to see you do well, I'm seeing. But there are also some other people around you at this time. They might be asking you questions, not because they're interested, but they might be quite kind of quite kind of trying to sorry, I'm really fudging my words, I'm sorry. They might be trying to goad you. That's the word I'm trying to think of. I was thinking of a word that meant kind of poking you. You know, when you look at these swords, you can see these swords not swords, you can see these ones poking up toward this man, and they're kind of poking him, poking him, probing him wanting him to react, kind of like, you know, when you when you poke a bear, well, you don't do that, of course, but, you know, when, you know, the phrase poking a bear, prodding a bear, and then wondering why it, it kind of wants to bite your head off, well, that's what these people are doing, they're kind of prodding you, they're asking you goady questions, they're trying to throw a little bit of negativity, a little bit of shade on what you're doing, questions kind of like, um, oh, why are you doing that? Don't you think um, you might be aiming too high? Do you actually know how to do this thing? You know, oh, my uncle's cousin's brother's sister did that and it wasn't a good idea because, you know, they're, they're silly and they don't know what they're doing. That kind of questioning, you know that kind of, you know what I'm talking about. And so, you know, this thing that you're working on, even though you're kind of only half doing the work on because your heart's really somewhere else, you're still working on it. It's still a very important thing to you. This is something that's very, very important to you. Now, at this time, it's only a bud. You've only started with this. It's just a little flower bud at this stage. It is going to bloom. It's going to bloom into a beautiful flower. Don't let these people throw poison on this little bud before it even has a chance to start. Um, be very careful, be very discerning about who you talk to, who you tell um, things about around this project. Now, you, I'm not saying don't talk to anyone about this. I get into trouble in the comments. People tell me that I'm saying don't tell anyone anything. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that be discerning over who you tell. There are some people in this who really genuinely do care about you. They're the right people to talk to. There are these other people who goad you, who poke at you. They're the wrong people to talk to. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have for your future is the Hierophant. So yes, this thing that you're working on, again, I know this is all about this. This is just what I'm seeing. Uh, this is going to eventually lead you to some kind of it might lead you to some kind of teaching. You might be teaching this to other people. I'm seeing you becoming really, um, you're going to be quite successful at this in the end. Um, after a while, it's, it's slow, but you are going to be successful in the end. Um, and then you're going to want to pass on your knowledge to these other people. Um, there could be a lot of, um, 
Yes, there's a lot of misinformation around what this is that you're doing. I'm seeing that a lot of people don't quite understand this. This might be why you had a lot of these ignorant comments, because a lot of people don't quite understand what this thing is that you're doing. Um, I'm just looking at this hierophant and um, there are some keys at the feet of him, at his feet. There are these kind of keys kind of crossed. And um, what you're going to do with this teaching people is that you're going to unlock some kind of, um, you're going to unlock this information for people. You might even be opening a lot of people's minds um, to be able to help themselves and help them to learn this thing that you're doing. I'm seeing you're going to create eventually when this blooms into this beautiful flower and you end up teaching these people this information it's going to create this beautiful chain of help so you're going to create you're going to help some people they're going to learn from you they're going to help more people and they're going to help more people that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing this kind of linking of a lot of different people helping each other so I'm really really glad that you're not going to listen to um, these kind of ignorant comments I am glad that you're going to actually push ahead with this even though you're going through a lot emotionally you're still going to keep on pushing ahead with this because this is a really worthwhile project this is something that's actually going to help a lot of people that's what I'm seeing um, the next card you have for your future is the Queen of Pentacles so yes Again, look at this beautiful garden. This queen is in a beautiful garden full of flowers. Here we are. This is this bud. It's going to bloom into a beautiful big flower. This idea of yours is definitely going to grow. It's going to grow and it's going to be very beautiful and it's going to help other people. Um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is um, I'm picking up devotion, care, and devotion. Um, there's a deep, deep caring, there's a deep understanding of someone. I'm seeing this is about this person that you love and care about in the Four of Swords. They're going to come at this time, they're going to explain everything that's going on in their family, they're going to really start to open up at this time and when they do this they're going to need someone who's going to take care of them, someone who's going to nurture them. You're there for them. Look at this Queen of Pentacles. She has this beautiful coin on her lap. She is, you know, representing stability. That's what you are to them. You represent stability to this person because in their family, they have no stability. It's really, really awful. It's probably even worse than you imagined. It's, it's quite a serious situation. They're coming to you. They're talking to you. They're opening to you. They're going to need a lot of caring from you. They're going to need um, a lot of stability coming from you because that's what they really need at this time. You're going to care for them. You're going to do this for them. Uh, it is going to take some time for them to be back on their feet emotionally, but they will get back on their feet and you're going to help them to do this. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have for your future is the Eight of Cups. Yes. Um, I'm seeing this is about this person that you love and you care about again. They're going to really, really need you at this time. And again, this is what I'm seeing. They're going to be walking away from their family. Not everyone in their family, but the people who are really, really giving them all of this stress and these problems. I'm getting this defeated, um, this defeated feeling in this card, but it's also a sense of just, yes, I'm defeated, I can't do any more, I'm just walking away. It's that kind of thing. Now, these cops, they build an emotional wall. This person's walking away from that, walking away from all the terrible emotions that are hurting them. They're walking toward you. You're their stability, you're their rock. Look at what they're walking toward, a great big huge rock, that's you. You're going to be there for them, you are their rock and eventually they are going to get back on their feet again emotionally but you're going to hold them up for a while, you're going to care for them for a while. That's what I'm seeing, they're going to be relying on you. Scorpio, I hope this resonated, as you know general readings can't always resonate with everyone but again if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you'd like to. Once again, I'm sorry for the delay in this. Um, but yes, thank you for your patience and thank you so much for watching.